a uh, counterweight test, similar to earlier tests that are on YouTube. And the point here is that we have basically four impulse drivers. All of the machines of this family in the past have been just uh, one cylinder. Contribution to this device is the uh, reaction engine itself. There's four of them. Uh, my contribution is the the method in which we assembled all of them together and have them counter rotating, all running off of two motors. So that would be the X frame design with the uh, the ribbons as well um, and the bobbins. There's a lot of manufacturing. And then it would flip to one zero. So these numbers over here represent. Uh, it's basically a, a ten turn pot, and it has a hundred different. Uh, segments. This is what's controlling the speed of the stepper motors. And we have two stepper motors in here, the bottom one, the lower one, and the up and the upper one. Uh, lower one controls this swivel arm. The top one controls the rotation of this universal coupling, which turns this around. So these gyroscopes or um, complex masses are actually rotating on three different axes. You have this one, which is an axis of rotation, this over here, which is an axis of rotation, and then the flip itself, where it can flip over or pivot, that is another axis of rotation. And it's only when we get the third axis of rotation, the pivot, flipping over, that we are expecting to see any effects. Uh, I think we have the bottom motor going too. But... Okay, we're concerned with the upper motor at this point. Okay, you're bringing... I'm going to set it to 1.64. Seems to be running pretty well. Okay, this is the actual setting that we're going to run at. The lower motor has a lot more movement to it. Now at 1.0, and the goal might be 6.6. .6. I say might because we'll stop if we run into trouble before we reach that value. Lower motor now is at 2.0. We're going to bring the upper motor up to its operational speed for resonance. 1.64 is the goal. Okay. We're at 1.64. Oh, one second, one second, I'm going to stop you there. I see a pin coming out here. Um, there are pliers. Yeah, that might work. I want a slightly larger screwdriver. Are we ready to resume? Okay. Upper motor will start at 164. Okay. Okay, you can start uh, <coughs> speeding up the, lo the lower motor. Lower motor. It's now at 1.0. 1.5 2 point zero. Upper motor. My whole setup is coming off right now. Yes. Yeah. Easy way to hold down. Isn't this holding it? No. Because we removed the, the part below it. So it was just pulling out from the bottom. Okay. Uh, take two. We just did a, uh, a little bit of a repair here. And uh, do you want to turn the numbers down before I power up? We'll power up with upper at 1.64. It's powering. Okay, we're bringing the lower up now. 0 0.5. 1.0. Five point zero. You got the stop button mark? Yeah. 5.2. 5.5. Six point zero. No inversion yet? No, it's slipping. Okay, we probably started with the wrong position. Five point zero. Too small. Oh, not too small. That's the right size because I just used it. Upper motors at 1.64 already. 
lower motor, like zero. Five point five. Six point zero. Um. So what happened was is the uh, bottom rotor didn't reach speed; it started to shake. Just so you know, when we were running this before, um, last time I had somebody here, we had GoPro cameras up on the top with power supplies to them. They would run every single day, 20, like the entire time we were working at the lab. That's how I have so many, so much uh, footage. We love our footage. Take it off the five, then just play around there. Between five and seven. Five. Oh, this is something that's gonna have to be redone. Well, one great thing about us getting a lathe, by the way, is that a lot of this stuff needs to be remade. Yeah. And we're gonna have a lathe to do it. Yeah. And uh, I'm really excited about that. When when would you expect it to be uh, operational? Um, it'll be here Tuesday, and it should be operational Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's so cool. <laughs> it'll be here in the morning, it'll be operating in the afternoon.